Hey, yo, what's up? How you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. This is the Millennial Voice Show with me, Sid. And in case you're new to this platform, welcome because this is your show. This is your platform. And just to remind you guys, we have our social media platforms handled, sorry, at um, the Millennial Voice underscore 254 across all social media platforms. And today we are having a fantastic show because I have a guest, a very extraordinary guest. He is a multi-talented award-winning corporate mc concert hype man voice artist i could go on you go on, you go on. <laughs> lead social influencer radio and tv presenter a-list celebrity and he also likes to call himself the numero uno oh no, am i saying it right yeah numero uno number one yeah numero uno hype man <laughs> What's up? How What's you up? doing? How you doing? Say my name. You say my name. His name. Say his my name, name is Davidson. One more time. Say my Gibuene. name. One more time. Davidson Gebuene, how are you? <laughs> Let me just say DNG. DNG, man. <laughs> how are you? The second one is where guys are trying to get yeah. it. Gibuene. Imagine I get it. I get why you for be shot that to me. Thank you so much for, for coming through. Anytime. Yeah. Now, how are you? How's 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 life? How's yo, what's up? What's yo, popping? Your life is popping, man. Life mm-hmm. is popping. Life is for the living, man. As yeah. long as your head is above ground you know mm-hmm. i'm always giving thanks mm-hmm. i'm grateful to god for the opportunity for good health long life mm-hmm. so far so great yeah you know it can only get better can only get and better i like that for greatness yeah and let me just tell you dng is a ball if you've not met dng <laughs> i'm just telling you he's a ball. he's full of energy and um let's get started today we're talking about sex the sex Woo! talk Longer <laughs> yes that word that the, 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 yeah. the, the short word that has so much consequence. Yeah. The short word that has so much emotion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. It's three letters. Mm-hmm. Can change and your life. Man. True. True. But let's 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 get to this. You have a new movement called the Punguza Movement, For sure. which is in um which is really about sex and protecting um yourself against you know some of the things that come with sex. Yeah. Yes. So tell us about the Punguza Movement. So Punguza is an initiative by yeah. young people for young people, mm. and it's about uh, youth sensitization and advocacy. So yeah. we just want to talk to young people, we want to trigger conversation, yes. and we want people to be um, courageous enough mm. to open up and talk about sex. Mm-hmm. Um, we all know that it's it's a conversation that you know we like to have behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, in the DM, in the inbox, when you're with your plus one, yeah. but you don't want to openly say that, hey, I'm having sex. Yeah. Or I like sex, or I really like sex. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. And how you know how people are engaging in sex has been overly res- irresponsible. Yeah, true. And you know we're not coming out to try and tell people don't have sex mm-hmm. or or you know do this do that. All we're saying is that you know you need to know first that that you have a choice. Yeah. Um, the choice exists whether to have sex or not to have mm-hmm. sex. And if you choose to have sex. Then you should be responsible. Be and responsible. Responsibility also comes more choices because sure. now you have to think about it. Like, are you gonna have protected sex? Are you gonna go for testing? Mm. Are you gonna, um, you know, get basically just take charge? Yeah. Yes, you need to take mm. take charge of your scenario, mm. your your relationship, yeah. your life, your health, sure, sure. your future, and your destiny. Mm-hmm. You know, as young guys, we're always about. The right there, right then. Yeah, true. Yolo, you impulsive. Really want to We're very impulsive up. people. You are in a house party like this. It's late, Yanni. This show is like ready, grinding yeah. on me. So yeah. what am I gonna do? Am, am I am I gonna smash? If I am, do you do you? Am I gonna think about you know? Yeah. Is she safe? Yeah. You know, am I yeah. gonna think about you know? What if I get her knocked up? You know, so sure, those are sure, the conversations sure. that we are trying to have with young people mm. to tell them that hey, this is these are the scenarios, man. Mm. You gotta think life through. Uh-huh. But let's start with um, where this should all start because I feel like sex as a conversation mm-hmm. has been, you know, very low key and not as you know comprehensively talked about because yeah. people are afraid of it from the family setting. Because I, I personally, I didn't have the sex talk with my parents. You talk about sex in our house, and everyone will judge you. Like everyone is, oh, now to say, yeah. In fact, sex is really linked to to you know religious um you know abnormalities mm-hmm. like demons and stuff some, some of those things and it's crazy <laughs> eh, like who you wanna say my nini <laughs> what are you talking about so um let's let's address that let's talk about how 
families are failing, especially especially parents, um, with regards to talking to their children from a very young age about sex. You know, first of all, it's like, we need to be cognizant that we're Africans. Yeah. And just the fact that we're Africans means that we're conservative. Yeah, true. Or so some people will have us believe. Because, you know, I've been having these conversations even with much, much older people who are yeah. like married, divorced, mm. have children in university, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you know what, DNG, this conversation amongst young people, you need to understand that in our days, mm-hmm. when they were teens, polygamy was the number one thing. Yeah. You know, it wasn't a big deal to have a kid or to, to have three chicks or four chicks. Sure, sure. Yeah. So why is it a taboo today? So I think we're very pretentious. Mm-hmm. Also the fact that our history, you know, with the insurgence of Christianity, yeah. eroded all African morals mm-hmm. and they imparted their own mm-hmm. teaching into our people. Mm-hmm. So we are very mixed and mixed up and very confused society. Yeah. We don't know which way to follow. Mm-hmm. Like yesterday, I was, you know, I, I did a post about this this thing about the low culture mm-hmm. that the late Kenokot's wife needs to go and be cleansed. Uh-huh. And you know what cleansing means in that in our culture? Yeah, she needs to have unprotected sex with a cleanser. Oh wow! Yes, true oh, wow. true story. Like this is not a, a rumor or a facade. It's real talk, okay? And it's been uh-huh. propagated by the low cancer culture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so are we gonna take that direction and follow our traditions, mm-hmm. or are we gonna? You know, have one wife, one woman. <laughs> the, the I, I think us. I think that's that's personal decision. You know, whatever works for you. So so mm-hmm. now to bring it back to the parents. So we have parents who are a bit conflicted. You know, some of them grew up in that scenario mm-hmm. in a polygamous society, yeah. and then got saved, and then mm-hmm. now they're trying to tell you sex is bad. Like yeah. I remember growing up, my mom's very very religious, and mm-hmm. she used to tell me girls are bad. Oh wow! If you hang around the girls, you don't go to school. <laughs> you don't go to university. Uh-huh. You will fail. Mm-hmm. And you realize, yo, man, like girls ain't bad. They aren't. They ain't bad at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even even let me tell you my story. My my mom would tell me, um, Usiangalia vijana and don't allow them <laughs> get pregnant. to look yeah, uta, uta <laughs> pata ball. Even as I remember we had like funny, funny rumors in school uh-huh. about how to when you sit on a boy bah, una pata ball. And I think I'm looking back and I'm like, what, what you know like yeah. what the we, hell we're being given the wrong, the wrong information. information so what punguza is about it's yeah. about giving these young people the right information mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay yeah you can't have a half-baked education system mm-hmm. where you, you tell them some truth but yeah. because that's the rationale mm-hmm. from church and institutions and mm-hmm. all that like if you give these young people all this information yeah it is equivalent to encouraging them to have sex but it's not mm-hmm. True. You know, but let, let, let me ask it's, you. It's like saying, mm-hmm. uh, Sid, that if you teach somebody the law, you're encouraging them to be a thief. Is it? Yeah, no. Or a madana. No, no. You're actually teaching what them. What kind of reason is that? Yeah, true. But do you agree with me that it, it should start from the it parents? Must, it must start yeah. from the parents, man. Yeah. Because out here, the peers, we're teaching each other the wrong the thing. The wrong thing. You know, if me, if me, I'm a Mijuanji, and I'm 13, and I was taught something fake, I'll come and teach you. True. And then you take it as truth. Let me give you an example. Yeah. Um, in, in, in my day, we had we, we started getting sexual activity very early. Mm-hmm. By high school, it was late. And and I remember one guy, yeah. who, one of my neighbors, got another chick in the hood, uh-huh. knocked up. Uh-huh. Like, in the same estate. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we are laughing at him. We are really laughing. Like, I think uh-huh. I was maybe it's Form 3 uh-huh. or something mm-hmm. like that. And, and I asked the guy, why did you use a CD? Right? So we're, we're all teenagers. CD. Okay. And the guy's like, but see you have a job. And in his mind, yeah. a virgin so, cannot get, cannot pregnant. get pregnant. Yeah, and, and that's a myth and yeah, a misconception. Yeah, and yeah, people true. teach each other these things that you can speech, you can speak, you can speak, you know. <laughs> it's a lie yeah true so we need to demystify Mm -hmm. sex Mm -hmm. and we need to to get rid of all these myths and misconceptions Mm -hmm. and give people the right information that cheap even the first minute of uh, coitus insipidus Mm -hmm. mera you are going to you have the opportunity and privilege of getting a baby or an sti or a hiv or Mm -hmm. etc so let's talk about conversations that people aren't having, yeah. especially when we talk about um, sexual education from the family setup. Um, sex isn't bad, you know, and parents really start from there. People, parents are telling kids sex is bad, sex should not be had. Mm-hmm. But we're not talking about what it's sex demonic. really is. Sex 
has you know sex is pleasure yeah. and the reason why people um get curious about sex is because of that pleasure aspect so i feel like that's a conversation that parents should also have with their kids laid out as it should be you know sex is pleasurable exactly. when you're having sex this is what you feel but this is the measures that you should take uh, what do you think about that for sure i agree with you 100 yeah. mm-hmm. percent, and especially for the young the younger guys who are getting into this sexual activity mm-hmm. um you know we also need to remember how it was when we were teens mm. and we were going through adolescence and puberty and all that. Mm. You start getting intrigued by your own body. Yeah. And that is the beginning. Mm. And, and, and and you realize like if I touch myself this way I feel this I way. I feel nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if I if I see this kind of videos mm-hmm. or if I look at this kind of photos, yeah. I feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so here we are trying to pretend like it ain't going down, and it is. Yeah. So, so and from there, that's where the experimenting starts. Yeah. You find that you know maybe those people who are who are, who are going through that kind of phase are with the same gender, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You and your friends, nenda kwa washroom, no neshana zangu zimeanza kumea. That's how it was, man. True. Na para mungine zimeanza sala, we beat beat zangu beat. True. That's very true. You know? That's very very true. That's it. Mm-hmm. The same for girls. You, you start get impressed and they want you yours are growing has a not she wants to touch yours and you <laughs> and, and 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 you start getting affection for each other yeah so yesterday we were having this whole conversation about the the lesbians gays bisexual mm-hmm. intersex mm-hmm. etc mm-hmm. and 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 it's all about the inquisitive spirit amongst amongst young people when you're growing because sure. you don't really know mm-hmm. what's going on so you gotta investigate mm-hmm. like my body's changing what's all this yeah and I feel like that's that's something people are yeah. ignoring, especially yeah. parents. You can't ignore, man. Yeah. Like, these are people with feelings. Mm-hmm. L- let's also talk about um, statistics for now. 33% of yeah. new HIV infections are among Most the youth. Things, yeah. Underage youth, you know? Um, and, and, and that just begs the question, why? Is it that, you know, like in school... Dry, dry fry is why. Listen, I know dry fry is why. <laughs> But you know, is it that schools aren't doing enough in terms of even teachers teaching? don't want to have this conversation? They don't. They just tell you this is the body, this is science. They just tell you this is how the yeah. body looks like. Period. This is the penis, this is the vagina. True. And then, and then that's it. And then now you're left to just figure it so out for yourself. So what do I do with this? So you figure it out. You go try it at home yeah. over the holidays because mm-hmm. there's a more experienced Chile in them. Talk. Most guys lose their virginity with all the chicks. True. Same with chicks. They lose their virginity with all the guys. Okay. Just guys most likely are more experienced. Therefore, mm-hmm. they've had several partners mm-hmm. and they're going to give you some. Mm-hmm. And you get the burns or the itch or or some even worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's what it is. Mm-hmm. So if we don't give guidance to these young people and yeah. keep pretending like, oh, they're not having sex. Mm-hmm. We will continue seeing the same problem, perhaps even getting worse. Worse, true. And and I feel like society in general has also failed in that sector in yeah. terms of even how the message that comes out is the message of abstinence. But the truth is, teens out here are not hey. abstaining anymore. Yo, People don't care you, about that. Me, Kwanzaa, me, my background was Kanisa. Yeah. So that abstinence story, I've had it for a long time. Yeah. And it didn't work. It didn't work for those who are in gospel music. Mm-hmm. It didn't work for those who are in church. Yeah. It didn't work for the pastor's kids. Sure. It worked for nobody, man. Sure. PS, PS Kenya came up with this thing of to me chill. Remember that? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Of Jana Kwana chill, boss. Yeah. Of Kwana Ndiol Kwana Chapa Zaidi. Sour. Mm-hmm. So you cannot sell abstinence to a generation. That's that, not abstaining. That's, that, that's already sexually active and not, not abstaining. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, Min Shanza Kunyo Pombe, Una Niambi about. Uh, you feel me? So nifundishe venye nita balance between kulewa na kuchapa job. Alafu plus youth. Yeah, alafu plus youth are not kids. I think people treat us like kids. Kutubeba ujinga. They they think that if if they don't tell us this, um, you know how it is. Mm they're being safe but really yeah. leaving it to us to figure that out for ourselves is even, more is even worse for us thank you true and um let's talk about con let's get to what the government has been doing um with regards to that um juicy the judiciary came up with a with a proposal to lower the consent age from 18 to 16 mm. i think i'd like to get your take on the same it's an it's an interesting conversation man we drove that uh, quite a bit in the beginning when we were unveiling uh, 
Punguza in fe- around February, March, mm-hmm. they're about. And, you know, I get where they're coming from, especially mm-hmm. because right now, even to go and get this uh, health services, you need your parental consent, you know. Yeah. People ask you, where's your mother, your father? Mm-hmm. We need to get that out of the window. Mm-hmm. Remember, the context is a very conservative society. Yeah. So the idea or rationale of that proposal is that if we lower the age, then the 16-year-old can go and access services. Mm-hmm. But do you know what they're not thinking about? It's not even about the age. You know why? Because not even about the 16-year-old. Mm-hmm. Guys are having sex at age 9. nine. So are we going to lower the age to age 9? No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this conversation is not even about consent. That's just one aspect of, of it. Yeah. Really like this. But the problem... Mm-hmm. It's about opening up the health space yeah. for anybody to go and get these services, man. Mm, and like, if I'm going to have sex and I'm 12, yeah. <laughs> if you don't give me the condom, that doesn't stop me from, from having, having sex. sex. I'm true. still going to have it. Yeah. And let's talk about that stigma. Unfortunately. You know, people are not, in the first place, people are not um, exploring their options in terms of protection. Because if I walk into a, a you know, a chemist and say, Nipati, your condom, and I'm 12, yeah. I'll be judged. It's crazy, man. It's you know, easier to buy weed. Yeah. It's easier to buy a cigarette uh-huh. or a pint, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. than a condom. Which is really sad. Mood. I don't know why, man, but yeah. at a moment, you become mute, man. Your time, it got too evil too. Cigar on on end on a tishani pe SMB. And they don't even ask you any. The most like the game even my in your head things in lab than your Buddha. Yeah, Buddha cop. Yeah. And I gonna go get another faster. Yeah. No, no light, mm-hmm. but condom. Kuna ibu flani maze. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when you get chemist, you na pata ni Buddha flani maza flani me baka overall. So, 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 so you're <laughs> you that teenager or that youth, mm-hmm. you've had sex yeah. without a condom. So yeah. now what's the next thing? It's a P2. So, 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 and it, it, those kind of questions, even me or Shanga, when I knew his idea, when he has a kid to me, the headache need. Like, Juni McCool and the drive frying and stuck with a toy. So, we get to it, Tame and Imaze in the end. True. That's how. And and I think it, we should, as a society, we should move all from that space, that judgmental yeah. space, and be open, you know, about these things, and and even you know consider even like bringing it to, because we you know we're waiting for young people to come to yeah. us. How about we take it to them? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what me, I said, you know what, this year I want to do, you know, social uh, yeah. impact mm-hmm. work or activities mm-hmm. and I want to take this message to young people. So mm-hmm. we started with social media because social media is the the, the, the most popular touch point. Yeah. You know, young guys on WhatsApp, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Talk to them there. Then we want to go into their spaces, their yeah. schools, their campuses, mm-hmm. their estates. Like now on Friday, Friday. we're going to get the right Forty four mm-hmm. 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 It's in the holiday time. Was how come time? Yeah. So all the youth, man, from forty four kasa, forty five kwendani, mm-hmm. sukari, maziwa, roisambu, mirema, kujeni. I like that you're doing it. Yeah. I like that you're reaching out really to yeah. where you know the youth are. Yeah. And like I was talking to you about this earlier, um, especially around Gatherai forty four. There's a lot of street families, street yeah. children, yeah. um. Tell us about what Punguza is planning on doing. You know, um, like, it's very valid point. Like, one great thing about this Friday event mm-hmm. that we're doing at, uh, it's at 44, the Youth Empowerment Center, the Chief's mm-hmm. Camp. It's free for all. So, yeah. first, there's no entry fee. So, even if you're a street uh, boy or girl, you yeah. can come. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. And then, access to the contraceptives is free. Mm-hmm. Access to counseling is free. Uh, if you're like expecting mm-hmm. there's a maternal su- uh, services, mm-hmm. it's free. Mm-hmm. If, if you've gone through violence, yeah. like rape or gender-based mm-hmm. violence, mm-hmm. all that, there's also counseling. There's also peer-to-peer education. Yeah. Uh, for those, you know, there are also people who are willing to give the testimonies and, mm-hmm. and, and experiences, like the, the mothers who've already given birth, who are from them, da, Mm-hmm. will show you that life is not over yeah, true. because some guy got you knocked up Kunda eh? 44 and Bazava Naka Dark Umunangi Karul Squeezy you know that's what that's yeah. what it is man yeah, true, true. life ain't over mm-hmm. come through and let's let's engage and then obviously for us we're big on entertainment yeah so we are harnessing the power of music mm-hmm. the power of influence mm-hmm. and and using that to engage so there'll be performances yeah. and artists DJs and C's 
you know, if you're an artist out there, come through down. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll be having rap battles and things like that. Let's talk about the fact that the main source of information about sex to many youth and um, teenagers is the internet. And, you know, the internet is a very, very powerful um, tool. And people are learning about sex from pornography. Yeah. And porn is, you know, is not an accurate representation of what sex is all about. Um, visiting boyfriends and girlfriends is a key holiday activity how do we because we not many teens especially are busy so when you're busy your mind is not on sex yeah, yeah, yeah. how do we then um get our youth not to go to the internet and and you know um you know engage with them about sex more does it make sense yeah man unfortunately you can't stop the internet man yeah you can't but uh, you can't ring fence it uh-huh. impossible uh-huh can stop curiosity mm. or inquisitiveness because if somebody they're learning a, it also yeah. from the music that we play these days yeah. and if somebody has a phone and wi-fi or a phone and, yeah. and, and bundles mm. or a laptop or whatever mm. they'll go and watch what you don't want them to watch yeah you can't stop it mm-hmm. um so i think it's important for us to you know just address it from to teach better yeah. it's like saying you stop your youth from watching uh, action movies because you're afraid they'll become things. violent. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> Not everybody watches porn goes to shag or or, or becomes no, a, but they, a, a langa. Okay. No, uh. no. I'm just I'm not so gonna um, negate the fact that it will tempt you to do it. Mm-hmm. And I think all of us learned it that way. Yeah. Ata mastingo maze. Unenda una una jihami na 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 context. True. Unenda una nishademi ako wenye wenye pro. True. Ama na unagari. True. Yeah. So 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 why would it be different for from for the 19 year old today or the 13 year old today you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I think I think you know that's going to happen whether we want it or not yeah. but for me my catchment is at the point of having sex you know you have choices mm-hmm. choices have consequences, consequences. this repercussion and every a- action has a reaction mm-hmm. so please note that mm-hmm. so even as you go to experiment what you watched on that own hub free to watch video yeah <laughs> just know that this is the array of scenarios mm-hmm. so that you make an informed decision yeah and i think also what parents um, miss out on and they're very doing it wrong rather is that they have parental what do you call it parental control, control. but then you're forgetting that when your parent when your child is not in the house they go to the neighbor's yeah. house yeah who so they it's got a solution to put up and parental never there. control yeah true so you're right man like I'm a parent as well. Yeah. So I have, I get these emails, man, from the school mm-hmm. that during holidays, make sure you control the content yeah. that the little ones are watching and they, they give us all that, even yeah. how to activate the parental control. There's uh-huh. a chat uh-huh. Uh-huh. With, in, with the photos on an iPhone, yeah. Android, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one way. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't want to, we're not encouraging our little ones to watch such things, but also we're not, um, What's the word? We're not naive yeah. to, to say that they will never watch it. Because mm-hmm. if we did, and our parents were beef <laughs> for kupigwa na muiko, what about today where it's time out? Sure. Flexible. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, and do. even if I put those con- parental controls, mm-hmm. you'll find a way to sub- circumvent that system. Always. You and know, if it's not in your house, yeah. in someone's house, you know, yeah, the internet yeah. is actually very free out Yo, here these days. I have... I, I deal a lot with these teens and they comment even on our posts and all that mm-hmm. and some of them tell me these stories Until my dad has given me a curfew of to do what time mm-hmm. say 7 yeah. or 6 start yeah. but the things they're doing at lunch time was you know you can have sex in the morning and this to the parents listening <laughs> like women that job mm-hmm. yeah. women that job yeah. women that job yeah. women that job women that job women Ameoga na ametoka. Yeah. Wewe unaanza ni tu ako kwa estate ama menda library ni ni nini? Hai hai. How long does it even take? 10 minutes. Yeah. Mtu wako umepata ball au unashangali pata ball wapi? No me mwekea ma cafe ma nini ma parental control. Yeah, it's very important to, for parents to be. That's na unaenda ngane Sunday school. Mm, sure. Uh finally DNG, um yeah. personally, what do you think um that uh if you knew back then mm. that you know now? you'd have done differently. Hey, Maze. Maze, I knew this thing was so addictive. Ninge jwa, 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 
hapo ndo ni personal mimi nilijifungulia Pandora's box. Mm-hmm. Kwanza mimi nilikuwa chuo kingine, eh? Kaja ni sio mimi chuo. But <laughs> Hiyo chuo tulikuwa tunachochananga. Yeah. Wewe umepita na wangapi? True. Na ule chali amepita na madem wengi. Yeye ndio otero. Yeye ana respect. Even checks, you know it happens also in, in really? It, yeah, it does. I remember when I was in form 1. Body count. Let me tell you I was in form 1 when um pe- we we talk about it. And there's two groups of girls. There's girls who will judge you. They'll be like, "Ule demni, she's a whole yeah, nini." Blanca, But then there are those who are just like, "Hey, for real." Like they all, they're just like, "Yeah." Hey, Dembe jana jo maisha. You smashed. I love you if it's a he fine tapped. guy. <laughs> yeah, true. So mm-hmm. it happens. It, it peer pressure. Yeah, yeah. You so, know. So I don't know. Maybe I, maybe if I didn't take that route, I'd have been a different guy today. Mm-hmm. But at, at least now <laughs> you know, know, you know, you're better because now you know. More experience. You know, yeah, and you're teaching young people yeah, and I, I keep saying like you guys don't have to say, make the same mistakes we did. Yeah, true. So if you can teach someone something mm-hmm. to avert their the crisis yeah. from chaos mm. to greatness scores work wow okay that's a very good place to end it but me here and Mesha I like to like make random quotes Woo! Hit, me. <laughs> hit me one for like Plato <laughs> fool me once that's on you fool me twice that's on me that's on me bro <laughs> I don't know if it's that random but yeah thank you so much for listening I hope you guys enjoyed um please um you know en- engage tell us what you think um our social media handles are at uh, millennial voice show 254 underscore 254 across all platforms and dng thank you for coming through in time and my yeah. handle is dng kenya yeah. our page is punguza, punguza ke, K-E. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yeah and I, and by the way let me even mention his page is very engaging you yeah. you really put out topics um that are very you know real, real and you know very relevant to the youth of thank of the generation that. so until next time y'all thank you thank you for joining us thank you for tuning in stay fresh stay clean and um you know punguza punguza mo kai kwa mamako punguza mo kai kwa mamako thank you bye <laughs>